I didn't know what to think. But the city seen from the Queensboro Bridge is always the city seen for the first time. The Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge, or more commonly known as the 59th Street Bridge, has been connecting Long Island City and Manhattan since 1909. Significant proposals joining the two sprouted as early as 1838. The hope of financing came by way of a private company in 1867, but its attempts failed and the company went bankrupt by the 1890s. Triumphant plans finally prevailed by 1903 after the Greater New York City came about a few years earlier in 1898 combining Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, and Staten Island, creating the five boroughs. Under the leadership of Gustav Lindenthal, who was appointed to Commission of Bridges in 1902, he teamed up with Leffert, L. Buck, and Henry Hornbostel, the two men who designed the Williamsburg Bridge. Construction began in 1901 and wouldn't stop until 1909, seeing a few hiccups along the way. During a windstorm, an incomplete span collapsed, and labor issues occurred, which included an attempt to dynamite a portion. The bridge finally opened in 1909 with a price tag of $18 million and having taken 50 lives. It originally went under the moniker Blackwell's Island Bridge, being it crossed right over it. Blackwell Island is currently named Roosevelt Island. While the bridge may not receive as much acclaim as its not-so-distant neighbor, the Brooklyn Bridge, it's been a part of this country's pop culture for decades. From Woody Allen's Manhattan, to Spider-Man, Home Alone 2, and countless others. It's also the subject of a Simon and Garfunkel song, The 59th Street Bridge. Feeling groovy. The 59th Street Bridge originally had a passenger elevator as well as a spiral ramp for cars to get to Roosevelt Island. In the 1950s, the Roosevelt Island Bridge was built and the exit ramp and elevator on the 59th Street Bridge was deemed obsolete, although they weren't removed until the 1970s. At the bridge's opening in 1909, motorists were charged 10 cents across. This was abolished in 1911 by then Mayor William J. Gaynor, who declared the price tag inconvenient and irksome. The idea was reintroduced in the early 2000s and then again in 2016. The bridge still stands strong today as it did in its early years and remains a symbol of New York.